Guten Tag! You didn't think I was gonna say that. You've been bamboozled. You've been well and truly bamboozled. I got you, I played you, and now you are mine. <laughs> it is day. What is today? Today it is day 34. 43. Day 43 of the vlog. It is currently week 9. And um, today it's Wednesday. What well, only means one thing. That means it's Q and A time. Q and A time, everyone. And that means that I answer one of the questions you give me. I would be very surprised if you don't know what Q and A means. But where's my phone? I'm oh, sorry, I'm looking for oh, there is. Who inspires you? Um, I'd probably have to say Casey Neistat. My biggest role models are within the film industry. That's where I want to Shit. So that's where I want to go. They're literally, they're feeding the grass, feeding the grass next to really confusing. Why are they doing that? But no, there are some other YouTubes that inspire me, such as Yes Theory, they're a brilliant channel. So that's enough of Q and A time. So with that awful section out of the way, it's time to get on with my day. And what am I doing today, Max? I have no idea. That is correct. I have no idea what I'm going to do today. I have a few things I have to do. By the title of the video, you probably already know what this video is about. I never sneeze off camera. What is going on? Uh, oh yeah, this happened. The box scripts are done. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see. If I and I'm going to be sending these off to my actors and my crew soon. I'm going to send it to them soon. Bit of editing to get done. Then it's just kind of chilling, to be honest. I mean, I, I think I, I've gotten like all the, the busy stuff that I needed to get done throughout quarantine out of my way. Now I can kind of not enjoy it, but in terms of relax a bit more, as I haven't got free lunch jobs to do. It opens up a lot more time for me, um, a lot more time I can spend on my own projects. You know, I've got to get some writing done. I have to get more writing done, so. I don't know, I'm kind of on the cusp. I might get final draft. But it's awfully expensive. But I don't know if it's worth it or not. If you don't know Final Draft is a script writing software, I highly suggest getting the 30 day free trial. It will change your life. It is so good. So I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the full version. The full version is very pricey. But also, it was just my birthday. We'll see. We'll see. Oh yeah, and some sad news. Um... Last night in Soho, Edgar Wright's new film, one of the fun films I was really highly anticipating. So April next year. I mean, there's nothing you can really say. You can't really complain about it because the big Rona. But yeah, it's just a shame. May I just say, Twin Peaks is probably one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. It is absolutely incredible. It's currently four o'clock. My video just come out. I've done a bit of drawing. I'll show you what I've done. But then I did a stupid thing and I decided to colour over it. I've been doing some concept art. Oh, I've been doing some concept art for. Um, a new film. In the meantime, I've also been uh, structuring my feature limp in terms of I'm reworking the story. Books aren't really my thing. I can't remember the last time I sat down and actually read a book. But I still think reading is incredibly important. This baby, absolute legend, The Anatomy of Story, great book. But for my birthday, I got four books. One of them being I got the Get Out screenplay, what I read within like a day. I absolutely loved it. I also got the Inglorious Bastards one. Tarantino. I wanted to get Tarantino's script. I'm thinking Glorious Bath is probably my favourite script. Especially that like, basically half the films in different languages. So this is going to be a fun read. The uh, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Charlie M M Mockany? Charlie Mockany. And I read this within a night. It's, um, it may look big, but it's not. I would say it's not really a book. It's more than a book. I'd say it's more of an experience. Well, that's how I experienced it. I experienced reading it at 2 o'clock in the morning because I had nothing else to do. And I decided to pick it up. Oh, it's Mac. I thought that was an O. Charlie Mac Macassey. Charlie Macassey. What a man. It's uh, it's very good. It's unbelievably good. It's stylistic. It's one of the ones I'm going to be having on my side for quite a long time. And, you know, put take it to university and put it in a book, book case and read it and pick it up whenever I, you know, want to do stuff. Because it is, it is a read. More than a book. It's much more than a book. It's not your, you know, typical fiction book. It literally tells the story of a boy meeting a mole. A fox and a horse adventure, but it's not about the adventure. You don't know where they're going. It's about how they feel about adventure, and you know, I've learned so much from this book in terms of like I kind of about myself and how I reacted to some of the pages, and um, some of the pages are just pictures. What I like because books are boring. It was really, it's quite an emotional read. It's one of those ones where you take quite a lot out of it in terms of I want to almost go back and like looking at pages now. I want to go back and read it again. On either side, there's a song, and I've been trying it online for ages to try and find what the music is, and I can't find anything. If there's any, I can't really find much criticism because it's not. I wouldn't class it as a novel. It's not a novel. I feel like for how people different react to stuff, there's something in there for everyone. I'd say, and I think it links up to all the different characters and how they're different. When big things feel out of control, focus on what you love under your nose. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you're treated. And it's a book I believe that will last a long time with stand standings of time. Illustration captures the style of the book so well. It it's fascinating. Oh, just, oh my God. 
I don't really have to say anything, I just have to show it, and it's just, it's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous book. I really want to see this as a short film, this would make such a good short film, like, unbelievably. You know, the music, and the you know, cinematography, Roger Deakins would eat this up. I apologise if books weren't your thing, if so, then look forward to tomorrow when I'm doing something else that's hopefully is it book it's not book related. Tomorrow's quite a nice episode. I quite in, I'm gonna enjoy tomorrow's episode. So uh, make sure you stick around by that by subscribing. Make sure you hit the like button down below and hit subscribe. Make sure you stick around and join the family. I'll see you very 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 soon. Goodbye. You can leave.